Calabash Alley, a street in my country, reflections of my society. Galvanized peeping is an everyday thing. Who ain't see does say they see. Calabash Alley is all a hmm. Calabash Alley, where marbles are pitching. Hundred hole and cack for bookie. Gossip and cussing is really no big thing. It's pelting green mango at mango tree. Calabash Alley is all over. Calabash Alley, a natural kind of bacchanal, running jockey in the canal. We listen to the calypso, we just prefer, we like it so. Calabash Alley is the place to be. Calabash Alley is the place to be. And that's it, Mrs. Wells. We have him to hang. Mr. Thomas, thanks for explaining all the necessary procedures for a divorce. But emotionally, I can't go through with it. I've decided to pay you for all the hard work you've done. Anything you want? Would $1,000 be sufficient? <laughs> well, that's a little bit smaller. I mean, when you consider the uh, amount of assistance I have to pay. What about uh, $1,800? Ah, then? yes. That, that's more like it. That should take care of everything. Michael Thomas. Here you are, Mr. Thomas. Good. Thanks very much, Mrs. Wells. Well, anytime you need any help, just telephone. Some people would not pass up that alimony, you know. I am stupid enough to believe that uh, he would want to come back to me. Well, you know, sometimes the young girl gets fed up with the old rooster and he has to go back home to his wife you know so i suppose there's hope who knows if a tall handsome gentleman shows interest in me i may not want art wells again <laughs> you can be sure there'll be lots of men i am not attractive anymore mr thomas mrs wells what if i tell you that don't bother Mrs. Wells. Goodbye, Mrs. Wells. Mr. Thomas, I can't to start telling me something and then stop halfway. Well, what I was going to say has nothing to do with the job I'm working on. Still, I would like to know. Well, I was going to say that I, for one, I What, find Mr. Thomas? I find you an attractive woman. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Why should I want to do that? Just to be kind, I suppose. I don't waste my time, nor my words. So, you were sincere? It came from my heart. Thank you very much. I have not received a compliment like that for the longest while. Mrs. Wells, can I come and look for you sometime? I would love that. But, uh, Mr. Thomas, I'm about uh, 10 years older than you. <laughs> <laughs> My mother used to say, the older the wine, the sweeter the taste. 
<laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Wells. Uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, when are you coming to see me again? I'll ring first and I'll let you know. Okay? All right. Good day, Mr. Thomas. Bye. Bye. My car park right over the road, and I'm going in your direction. So maybe I could, I could give you a drop home if you don't mind. What are you doing these days? I'm doing a hairdresser's course. Wow, that's good. So just now I'll see her in a Cindy Lopper. <laughs> that's lots of me. I hope one of your girlfriends will see us together. Girlfriends? I have none. What? That's hard to believe. I just can't take on girls nowadays. Huh? Oh boy, from hot sun to rain. It's really hard on the driving sometimes, huh? What do you think? I don't know. I can't drive. You're joking. Oh, I was a bit lazy. To tell you the truth, I was afraid of the traffic. But now that daddy left one of his cars first, I decided to get somebody to teach me to drive. Well, that person is right here. But you have your work to do. I'll organize the suit, man. What about driving lesson number one tomorrow at about two o'clock? You could think fast. You will come to meet me? Look, you better keep it a secret there between me and you. Because I never know, the mother might object. Um, meet me by the junction now. I don't like waiting on the street. Don't be afraid, man. I'll be waiting for you. But where are you going? Maybe, uh, Sinclair. At that time of the day, it'll be very quiet. Ha! Imagine me driving. But I have no problem. Don't worry, man. I'll fix up that for you. Right? Tomorrow we'll go and see more now. When you're driving good enough, you'll go to our driving school and get your final lessons, alright? I hope the police don't lock us up. Well, if you don't get the lawyer's permit, we won't drive, okay? Although, I wouldn't mind being locked up in the same cell with you. Mr. Thomas, I didn't know you were that kind of fellow. When I'm on the job, I'm very serious and I'm good at it, eh? Yeah? After work finish, I like a little fun and games, you know? Well, Mr. Thomas, I'm sorry, but you wouldn't try any games with I didn't really mean it that way. I want to live here. No tricks. We're gonna take your word at it tomorrow at two. I'll be waiting for you by the junction. By the way, how's your mother? She's alright. But I thought you saw her a few nights ago. She discuss anything with you? No, she just told me that she would have to see you a few times to gather material for the evidence. She needs to see a few things for herself, huh? She needs to tell me everything. But now she's a bit silent about her activities. Well, you don't seem to please about that. No, it doesn't bother me, but she's a different woman. In what way? Oh, well, she's dressing up much more now and fussing about herself in the mirror. Yesterday she went to a hairdresser and had her hair dyed black. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that? I believe my mother is. Come on, don't stop, man. You can speak freely with me. Alright, I'll tell you. I think she has a boyfriend. Wow, that's good for her. She's an attractive woman, you know. Yes, but a middle-aged man. I wish I knew who it is. Huh. You want to give me the job to trailer down so I can find out who she's going around with? I don't think it's serious at the moment. These strong relationships take time. Not always. Remember, she's a woman who is trying desperately to prove herself. Huh? And she could be 
good bit for an unscrupulous rogue. I hope she doesn't make a fool of herself. Nah, she's too clever for that now. She's not. She thinks nothing of writing checks for her friends. Well, I suppose your father still helps out. Yes, although she's really the rich one. When her father died, my grandfather that is, a few years ago, he left her a large estate in Toko, money in the bank, and insurance. Oh, I see. Now, Mr. Thomas, all that I tell you must be kept in strictest confidence. Promise, cross my heart. Secret between me and you. <laughs> <laughs>